Whether it's a sick child or the loss of a spouse, sometimes Metro Police need a different kind of backup. WDRB Stefan Johnson tells us about the organization and event dedicated to protecting and serving police in the community. It makes me go home and hug my kids even tighter at night. Detective Michelle Rush is with LMPD Special Victims Unit. So for the first about year and a half of me being in the unit, I strictly helped children who needed help in our community. But lately, her focus is on helping a child very close to her heart. <laughs> Meet eight-month-old Tate Rush. His laugh and smile are just like most babies his age, but it's what you don't see that has led to several surgeries and mounting medical bills. And it is called Wiedemann Steiner Syndrome and it's a genetic syndrome um, that affects the GI system where he has a hard time gaining weight and maintaining the weight. Surgeries and hospital stays have, have caused Detective Rush and her husband, who is also an officer, to miss a lot of work. The first time we took off, uh, we were off um, for a few weeks with his hospital stay, just trying to figure out, you know, what was going on and who was gonna take care of him. That call for backup was answered by the Louisville Metro Police Foundation. When they stepped in and said, let us help you, that was the biggest sigh of relief. And when something like this happens to little Tate, it's a relief to be able to say, hey, we've got this for you. Rebecca Grignan Rieker is with the foundation and says the organization helps fill in a lot of the gaps for officers and the community. Yeah, it's stuff that's not in the budget that can't be covered. They can come to us. The money used to help the Rush family is part of the officer in distress fund, but that's only part of the support the foundation provides. We do shop with a cop. We just love to help our officers make a difference. We have the hug fund helping us give where officers can go take care of basic needs like formula and diapers when they're out on a run and they see a need. On Saturday, more than 500 people attended the organization's annual fundraiser, Boots, Badges and Bids, which generated a record amount of donations. They are the biggest blessing. Michelle Rush hopes she doesn't need the foundation going forward, but she's glad to have the backup just in case. I just cannot express our gratitude my family has for being able to help us and take something that is, is so big off of our shoulders. With photographers Tom Round and Emily Evans, I'm Stefan Johnson. WDRB News.